We are two stories now, yeah? Feed as much poor people as possible. Guaranteed to get anything that you want? Ask Allah. And know that the spiritual is more important than the physical. And know that you gotta face your fears. And you gotta fear Allah. So never yeah never think of other things in your prayer when you're praying focus yeah focus on what you're saying don't think of something else cause that's a that's a big sin you know focus yeah you have to show show your hump your fear you have to have signs of fear in your prayer so no after you finish your prayer don't just go and do something. Sit there and make dicker, yeah, make tasbih so you could and ask for what you want. Because obviously, after you finish your prayer, your dua is also answered. So don't just move away, do ask for stuff that you want. SubhanAllah. And just show respect to your. Fa- to, to show respect when you're praying. Show you're scared, you're like, humble, like. Keep your head down, keep your eyes focused on place of prostration. You feel me? So, no, innit? Serious, be serious, like. So, and also between the two sunrises, don't sleep after you finish your morning prayer, stay awake till the sun comes up because during that time is blessed. So make a lot of dua, dua, make a lot of remembrance during that time. Ask Allah from his bounty, from his blessing. SubhanAllah. And you just gotta be, you gotta be serious, like, no messing around because you're gonna die soon. So you don't, you need to know. You need to know that at the end of the day, you're living once. So make sure you do the thing right. Make sure you're reading the Quran every day. Some of the holy people, some of religious people, used to read ten chapters a day. Can you read ten chapters a day? Subhanallah. Feed as much poor people in poor countries, like I said, because that's a good way to get heaven. So and be grateful for what you got, because the last man Allah has given us too much. It's just too too much. If you just for just for you don't understand. If you, if if you wanna know, yeah, how much you've been blessed, yeah. No matter how if you do thousands of prayers a day, yeah, just to thank Allah, it will never equal just to your eye, one of your eyes, not both of your eyes, just one of your eyes. <sighs> You need a lot every second in our life, every single second. Everything's got to be for the sake of Allah. You feel me? And you just got to be like asking Allah twenty-four-seven for what you want. Never stop. And you just got to be with the poor, the weak. Just be with them. Help them be by their side befriend them the orphans you know what I mean so it's mad out here and just leave backbiting leave backbiting people that backbite and talk about people leave them people tell them to stop if they don't stop move walk away from them because backbiting is a very very big sin and you'll go hell for it guaranteed so don't backbite about each other just make every use of every second of your life subhanallah alhamdulillah for everything thank Allah for everything it's a blessing so good out here so good
good. This will bless don't ever be worried. Just keep remembering Allah. Your heart should be shaking when you hear Allah's name. You should feel, you should feel shaking. Your body's shut shaking. For real. Just know what time it is, because if you don't, then you're obviously gonna be lost. And don't sleep a lot because you'll lose this life and you'll lose the next life. No, there's you don't know what's you don't know what's around you. There's you don't know what's happening. The unseen world. You'll lose both worlds. This world, the seen world, and you'll lose the unseen. So sleep minimum. Spend your time in worship in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Spend your time in keeping your eyes focused on the next life. And just know that everything here happens for a reason really. Gotta keep smiling. Have a good sense of humor with your brothers and just keep on cheering up all your brothers going to the mosques and that don't even if bad things happen there's a hidden blessing you don't know about so don't panic like so just try and cry as much as you can from the love of Allah and the love of his prophet and just know know what time it is where you're living what you're doing what's gonna happen after you die think of death cause death is the ultimate killer at all pleasures so know what time it is so there's no limit to how much good deeds you could do so you don't even know if these good deeds are gonna get accepted <laughs> so no matter how much you good deeds you do it's not enough you've got to keep on increasing your good deeds no matter what we we'll try and go Hajj every year, pilgrimage, because that is obviously gonna get you blessings in this life and the next life. You don't want to be burning in the hellfire. So people who go Hajj more than once obviously are much more blessed. Traps, there's people who've been Hajj 25 times, 30 times. True stories, like. And just try not to look at nothing haram as much as possible. Just get married or try and get people married in a halal way, and Allah will bless you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you. Always say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't just say Allah. You get me? SubhanAllah. So, it's a major sin just to stack up money because all wealth and money and stuff belongs to Allah. You know, Greatest, the most high, so, so y y y your money won't decrease if you give charity, your money will only increase. And even a good act of charity is more well, like a kind word, a smile. And like when you're eating, yeah, just keep remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and praising Him for feeding you and giving you um, just ha just know know what know what's gonna happen after you die read the hadith read the Quran and give as much charity right now while you're alive as possible and just be easy going and know that there's gonna be dragons in your grave and it's going to be scary when you die. It's going to be scary. Just feed as much people. Be as, be as much. You know, just, just you know what time it is, for real. Just know what time it is, subhanAllah.